morning, children! Welcome to your favorite online educational show. This is Home Study with your favorite online teacher. I am your teacher, AJ. Ready for a lesson for today, children? Me too! I am very excited to teach you something today. And our lesson for today is... Materials that absorb water. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, let me ask you a question. Do you know what they call the materials that can absorb water and do not absorb water? Well, if you don't have any idea, don't worry children because in this lesson, I will teach you what they call the materials that can absorb water and do not absorb water. Are you ready? Yay! Let us define the word absorb. Everybody say absorb. When we say absorb, this is a condition where the liquid or the gas can penetrate into an object on its natural way. <laughs> In terms of absorption, we have porous and non-porous. But what is the difference between porous and non-porous? Hmm. When we say porous, these are the materials that can absorb water. And when we say non-porous, these are the materials that do not absorb water. Well, for you to understand the difference of porous from non-porous, I will give you an example using this and this. And of course, I have here a bowl with full of water. So first, let's try the sponge or a foam. So what I'm going to the sponge is to dip it into the water, soak it for a few seconds, and I'm show it to you. Now, one way of identifying either the object is porous or non-porous is by means of squeezing. So I'm going to squeeze the sponge, then absorb. You see? The sponge has a stock water, meaning to say the sponge has an ability to absorb water. So it is an example of porous object. Now, let us try the rubber ball. So like what I did to the sponge, I'm going to dip it into the water, soak it for a few seconds, then let's find out if the, if the rubber ball can absorb water or do not absorb water. <coughs> See? The rubber ball do not absorb water, so it means it is an example of non-porous object. Now, you know what is porous and non-porous. Are you ready for the next activity, children? Okay, let's do it! This activity, I have here a bowl with full of water, a piece of wood, a plastic, a towel, a stick that's made up of iron, and a cotton. So what are we going to do is to identify which of these objects can absorb water or do not absorb water. And, but this time, children, you will be the one who tell me if it is porous or non-porous. Let's start! What about this wood? Is this porous or non-porous? Then porous, let's see. Very good, you got it right. What about the plastic? Is the plastic porous or non porous? Then porous again, let's see. Correct, very good, children, good job. What about the towel? Porous or non porous? Porous, let's find out. Whoa! Good job, children! Ta a towel is a porous object. What about the stick? Porous or non-porous? Non-porous? Correct! It is a non-porous because it does not absorb water. And last is a cotton. Porous or non-porous? Porous? Let's find out. Good job! It is... Porous object. Great! That is our lesson for today. So see you tomorrow for more exciting and educational videos. This is Home Study with your favorite online teacher, Teacher AJ. And I am reminding you that even at home, it is fun to study. So keep safe, God bless, and goodbye!